Hi, my name is Wafa Akiki. I'm an ESL teacher at Alpha School in Rosemere, uh, Commission Scalar Seigneurie des Mides. English is a second language to grades uh, one through six, and I also have langage students. Uh, sometimes I would use it for them to do it at home, okay. to do something at home, but in the class, never. It's the first year that I've integrated uh, an activity or a project that needs uh, technology in the classroom. Well, Honestly, the first thing was because the workshop asked that we do introduce something. We had a variety of choices and I chose a story bird because I found it super interesting for kids to, uh, to be fully creative. Where they choose their image, they build their book, they build their story. So that, that's why I, I chose that. And I mean, other times, sometimes we would have, I mean, I do use technology in the sense of projecting on the screen a song or a... a a story that I would do, have students listen to, but for them to use it, no, never. Well, the, the reading, the reading and the writing, and, and having them um, be interested, but fully interested, because sometimes, yeah, okay, they'll do the task because that's what they're asked to do, but this, they had fun doing it, they enjoyed it. So to get them interested in reading and writing, and also cooperating, because I had them work in teams of two, yeah. The planning was a puzzle to do at first, and then I did, found uh, I have a lot of material, and I have um, a series called Stories. So I uh, photocopied, I made stories for them to read and to do a, a comprehension task and a writing task quietly at their place at the same time when I would send my two students at a time on the computer. So my like the story creating, the story bird, where they have to write their story and choose their image, I would send them two by two to the computer. Okay. So it took us about uh, maybe six periods to do, because I, uh, I would send two teams of two per period. So I would give them about 20 minutes. They go to the computer, work on their page. So they each had one page to do, each team of two. They had one page to, uh, to write. They would choose their picture, they would write their text, and then I would call the second team to go. So it took about six periods. Presented story birds to them. I had, in the workshop, I had created a story, so I presented them that story. I told them they are going to be creating a story as a class. And then we, as a group, we created a story. So I was, I was at the computer, I projected the story on the screen, and I would show them the pictures. Oh, we like this one, we like this one. No, not us, we want this one. So we would choose the picture together and they would tell me what to write. So I would write and I would have different ideas and I would put them together creating that page. So we got them and then I did that with each group. So when I came back to my first group, we had four models to go on because I have three groups of grade six. So we had four models, the ones I created and the ones we created together. So what I did is I showed them the pictures at first. All the pictures, because I chose a collection. You know, if you know how Storybird is, you, you have different collections of uh, artists. So I chose one collection to my three groups, same collection. So I showed them all the pictures, one after the other. I teamed them up in teams of two, and I teamed them up. So I put my strong together, because I didn't want a weak student not to participate because yeah, he's with a stronger student. So I put strong together and then the medium to the weak, I would mix them up. But the, my English or bilingual, I put them together. I teamed them up in teams of two. I showed them again the pictures. So they had their pictures and then I would send them two by two to the computer. So they would write their story, their page. The following week and every week after that, I would start, I would read. I would start my period by reading the pages that were already done. So I read the story to the page we're at, and then I would send my teams to work. Yes. yes. When we finished the story, so the story is 12 pages because I had 12 teams. So the, the story, 12 pages, then I would go, uh, now we're at uh, one group, it took me two periods, one group, we're at the fourth period. What we do is we correct together. So my teams, I have eight teams in the classroom. So the teams, I would show them the page. I read it. 
and I would tell them there's mistakes. Sometimes some groups that have more, had more difficulties, I would like, as I'm reading, go, because there's a mistake there. So, because I had, in one class, I had a lot of weaker students. They needed that little boost of help that, look, there's mistakes here, here, and there. And then I would give them two minutes. They, you know, together, look at the, the, the page, figure out where the mistakes are, and then I would go around the table correcting. What mistake? Oh, this I is capital. Or some would say, N -n no, uh, big, big. As long as they were participating and they were participating in English, some mistakes were just the period. Others was uh, the space. And some, yes, structure and spelling. But they, they would correct it all. I would, I did not correct anything. All I would do, some groups, like I said, is go, bam, there's a mistake there. And the rest, they would correct. But I'm at the computer. Okay. And we do page by page. Motivated, enjoyed it. When are we going to get the link? I want to show my mom. I want my parents to see it. Uh, can can we see it? Can we do, you know. They, they enjoyed it completely. Uh, I even asked them, I said, do you think I should do it again next year? With the other group, grade six. Oh, yes, yes, you can, you have to. Oh yes, my sister's going to be there next year. So they were very excited.